Welcome back to make way for Cat. We are on the search for Oswald, and it looks like we have to ask, um... Oh, how did I forget her name already? The Succubus Girl. But first, we're gonna check out Reinhardt's, um, bit here. I thought I was supposed to bring him a cucumber, but... I mean, he already has one, right? What on earth? What is this? Pickled cucumber for Beatrice, like we talked about before. It's just one, which is hardly an extravagant meal, but she'll still more than welcome to have it. My, thank you. I shall deliver it to Lady Beatrice myself. Oh, and if you want, you should split it with her. That way you'll know what it's supposed to taste like, and then you can make it yourself next time. Hmm. Indeed. One can only hope. What was that all about? Oh, that was a short one. Uh, this way. All right, let's find out where Oswald is. Ludmilla! Ludmilla. What happened? You're all red in the face. Oh, I get it. I was in your dreams last night, so you wanted to come say hi to the real thing. I'm right, aren't I? Um... I'm actually looking for Oswald. What? You tease. Way to get a girl's hopes up. Too bad. Anyway, I'm afraid I can't help you. We haven't kept in touch since I moved here. I don't know where he is. Is that so? I see. Thank you for letting me know. Sorry. No. Please don't worry about it. Oh, so that's a bust. <laughs> okay, do we need to go somewhere next? Maybe back to the hideout? Nope. Hmm, maybe something will happen tomorrow. Let me check. I think I have some seeds. No, I planted those already. Okay, we're good then. Okay, so my RP is shot. I suppose we could, um... Ooh. Take a bath. Oh, I want to give those to, uh... Riker. Woodstaff. I'm gonna sell that. Oh, what's the sun pendant? Increases companion's abilities with its light. Do I give that to someone? Or is that I have to wear it? We have three bells. I wonder if we could actually catch... Or tame, um... Tame the Ninetales Fox. Alright, so let's... Sell this stuff.
I'm gonna sell this because I didn't make it myself, so it doesn't really mean much. Um, I'll sell one of these. I think I'm gonna save that for like a birthday present or something. If I uh, took out the nine tail fox today or not. That's a no. Now! Fail. I honestly don't think that my, uh... level is high enough with this thing. Check out that stump one more time. See if we can get any apple seeds or anything like that. have been here already. So I am getting pretty close to the 300 stone and uh, lumber that I need. So I think I'll just work on clearing the rest of that up. So, literally 20 more stone and less than 10, which we can do right here. Oh, 
nice. I think the shop is still open, yes. so we can hit, hit that up tomorrow. Huh. And right. expand. I think we're gonna expand the blacksmith. weapons in here I can remove a few oh that can't go in there okay If, if they're still over there. They technically are. Let's go check anyway. I can give Riker his new swords. Yeah, looks like they're done for the day. Oh, they must have closed I see it. Six. Is risen, and I feel her pull. When I left town a little while ago, I saw the area was crawling with insects. Make a quest. That's easy. making you better. Get good, noob. Actually, I gotta take him out again. He's way behind as far as... as it compared to Martin. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna go to bed then. Can make some more jam. Thirty-seven. Boiled egg is only three thirty. Okay, not worth doing. Can do that. Two flowers stuck. Oh. Flower struck. That's that's the shop where the Miller works. Uh, 
are we just gonna pretend we don't know what to do next? We have to wait for someone to just burst through the doors. Deliver an item, a squid, no thanks. Oh, we can at least do that today. All right, I guess we're doing, doing some farming. Excellent. This grass basically destroys your land here. Like, it really weakens the soil. Eh, I missed one. Eh, well. Hey, are those finally in? Yes. Ugh. Skills up for it though. That's nice. Oh, these are ready too. I hope it comes out okay. Bring that one back to life. and do that. There we go. Easy, uh, does it? There you go. There we go. Right here. There we go. I have another one? Oh, I must have gotten one when I was harvesting. since we've got six of those as well. We'll go ahead and just do all of this. Great. 
chores are done. All right, let's see if we get any leads now for Oswald. to ship these in time. I'm gonna ship one. Oh, they sell for a lot. I'm gonna keep a stack of those because... Ooh. Oh, the detective agency... That makes sense that we'd go there next. Terry, help us find a dude. Terry! Oh, can I speak with you? What's up? You're in a big hurry, what's up? Um... I need to find someone. Looking for that bandit leader? Hmm. Since Seeds made him a wanted man, there's a good chance he's still in hiding. You said he'd previously holed up in the Bandit King's old base, right? Yes. He was hiding there with his band of thieves. Hmm. So it'd have to be a place where a large group could operate without attracting Seeds' attention. Huh? It's hard to think of a hideout that fits the bill. Right. You said it. Nope. Wait a tick. Could he? No. You have an idea? Not an idea, but more of an inkling. Hey! Have you ever heard of Bandit King Basara? Basara? No, I can't say I have. Is he famous? Right. More like legendary, Basara was the swashbuckling star of many a tall tale. From priceless treasures to people's hearts, it said there's nothing he couldn't steal. But every legend has a kernel of truth. Years ago, one of Basara's old safe houses was discovered in Norad. Hordes of people ventured there in search of a hidden treasure. However, no one could find a single thing. You know why? Um... Because there was never any treasure to begin with? Nope. Nobody could find an entrance to the place. Huh? A hideaway with no entryway? Right. That's what they say. After that, most folks accepted that Basara's safe house was nothing more than a decoy to throw the law off his trail. Now it's just another crumbling, forgotten ruin. Nobody goes there anymore. Forgotten, huh? Sounds like the perfect hideout, if someone could find a way inside. Real sharp. Now you're getting it, Cap. That's exactly what I think. Huh? But still, it's not like anyone has ever made it in, right? That's the official story, at least. Still... But if someone actually found the entrance, do you think they'd just announce it to the world? By keeping it a secret, they could have Basara's treasure all to themselves. And, as we've determined, it would make a perfect hideout for questionable types. Well, it's a better lead than nothing. If so... If I've piqued your interest in Basara's hideout, go to the Great Tree Plaza at 10pm. What'll I find there? Life's more fun with a little mystery. If I spoil the solution... You won't have anything to look forward to. It's true, I guess. Why isn't he a marriage candidate? I sure wouldn't mind if he spoiled things, but I guess I have to play along. That about sums it up. That's all the info I've got. Thank you so much! I'll check out the plaza at 10 p.m. Alright, seems like we've got a real lead. But now we gotta kill time till 10 p.m. Eight fifteen. Let's go get our recipe bread. Oh, and we've got another Reinhard. Oh, he's at the he's at the um, restaurant. Restaurant doesn't open till noon, though. Oh, off to work. Have fun.
go ahead and eat our bread. Veggie blade. Boy hammer. Tomahawk. Great axe. A bat. Rock axe. I, don't, I think this is the first time I'm actually learning um, axe recipes. Field pendant. Throwing ring. Heart pendant. Bone boots. Ooh. I'm actually wearing the heart pendant, I believe. Silver ring. Strider boots. I will take anything that's an upgrade, for sure. Thank you once again for your generosity. Oh, you mean the pickled cucumber? How'd it go? Lady Beatrice was beyond delighted and said it tasted absolutely delicious. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. I just realized pickled cucumber is literally pickles. At her urging, I also partook of it. Thank you. Did it taste good? Hmm. I must refrain from commenting on the taste. Uh, why? Because if I praise it, it will sound like I am disparaging it. Huh? Uh -huh. Reinhardt has what we in the business call a terminal lack of taste. I'm again? Uh huh. Fuka recently messed up while cooking and made an absolute crime of a dish. But Reinhardt totally devoured it. On top of that, he said it was, and I quote, Ambrosia fit for the gods themselves. I am well aware of my lacking palate, as well as my inability to accurately critique the food I eat. However, though I may not be able to convey my feelings on a dish, my gratitude for it remains unchanged. So thank you. I will repay this kindness. I promise. You're welcome, but you don't really need to do that. That makes me wonder how the cucumber he bought turned out. I hope Beatrice felt okay after she ate it. We are basically walking right into Fuka here. We didn't have much of a choice in this one. I suppose I could have warped out, but... I like Fuka anyway. You look like you're in a good mood. Yep, I love cleaning. If I scrub and I scrub, everything turns sparkly. I clean this floor every day, so it's all sparkly. Sparkly, huh? Not shiny? I like shiny, and sparkly, and gleamy. What about crunchy? Yuck. Crunchy is yucky. Bleh. You really just don't get it. Oh, I know. I'll tell you where to find sparklies. So there's a place with lots of sparklies, huh? Where is it? The Forge. They have lots of great sparklies there. Is that so? Oh yeah, now that you mention it, they have all sorts of shiny things. Thanks! Thanks for letting me know, Fuka. I'll go visit them sometime. Was I nice? Yep, that was very nice of you. Okay. Now we're heading up to the carpenters so we can get the upgrade. For the blacksmith. His cloak makes him look cooler than he already is. 
right, we're getting close. All right, guys, it's nine. Come on. Come on. There we go. Whimsical welcome. True strike. Find everything you need and a few things you didn't. All right, let's head over there and check it out. Forgetting something? Nah, that can't be right. Says he's got some weapons he didn't have before. Welcome. Oh, look at these. A spear? I don't think I've ever owned a spear. I have that one. Take your time. Own hammer. Oh, I see. So he has. Take your time. Different levels of strength here. Take your time. Ooh, this thing. I actually remember this from Rune Take Factory 4. Magic Shield, 84 and 78. Ooh, that one is better. Bone boots. I can make these now. Take 39 time. defense. Thanks. All right, let me talk to Martin. Oh, here he is. I'd love to know what you think of my weapons. Heard that you're responsible for the Smithy's expansion. I appreciate what you've done. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks to you, we have a brand new forge, and not just any old forge either. We can use it for tandem smithing. Here we go. This is what I need for the quest. Martin actually seems excited about something for once. How exactly does tandem smithing differ from regular old smithing? Well, the smithing process itself doesn't change much, but timing becomes more important than ever. You have to stay in sync with your partner and find just the right moment to strike. Oh, well, that sounds kind of hard. True, but if you manage to pull it off, then you could create something of far higher quality than normal. So if you're interested, give it a try. You sure? Think of it as a thanks for expansion. Master Derek gave his permission as well. Whenever you want to start, stand by that forge and select the tandem smithing option. If you've got any good friends, I'm sure they'd be more than happy to help you. The final product will change depending on who's working with you. When a person puts their heart and soul into something, their personality shines through it. Best weapons are made by the best friends. Has been working hard. Um, okay. Which means we have new gear in stock. I did look at that. So can I take him with me? Oh. Let's see. New forge. Tandem smithing, here it is. Could you give me a hand? What? No, not LJ. All right, let's see what I got. Veggie blade, a carrot. Sure. Stop within the bar. Okay. That's really hard to see with the screen moving. And it doesn't stop when you actually hit it. So you have to hit it just a little bit early. Not too early. Okay. 
That's gonna take some practice. Neat. That's kind of funny. Alright, I guess we're shipping this. But anyway, that's where I'm going to end this episode. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.